Okay, going to check out the pigs. I think this is the first time I showed you the pigs. You can see in this pen, I have a gate. It's uh, eight foot. And then this whole pen I could release the pigs into. As you can see, it has its own water source. And some mud, which they would love. And I'm probably gonna let them in here. But at first I want them to get used to their pen, so same thing as the ducks so when I feed them or if I want to get them back in I can just feed them so I got some chain link fence just built a very basic pen last year I built mine out of pallets you don't have to get very extravagant you can get hog panel if you want and make it but um, you don't if you don't want to spend the money so I just got some chain link some cheap post and made a little pen I have an IBC tote for their house. Hi pigs. There's the pigs. Mm -hmm. And then this feeder. It's a hog feeder that I just made. So it's got this lid. It's got this lid here that goes up and down. Keeps the feed dry. And then it's got this lid here that lifts up and you can stick like 50 pounds of feed in it. Riley, it's okay. So, there's the pigs. I saw a great idea on a YouTube channel for a gate, which was basically just a pallet. I cut it down some, but it's short and, or it's tall enough that pigs can't go over it. Julia, go in there like you're in a feed. And when you want to go in, you don't have to undo anything you just step right over it like that and then you're in there as far as water i have some water in the back corner just in a bucket there but i made a pig water I made this in about five to ten minutes and i need to make a video of just the build but all it is it's a trash can from walmart ten dollars it's got a lid water in there and then you get a pig nipple down there and you can get those on Amazon I'll try to put a put a link to it in the description if I can Put an affiliate link in the description below. I got this one. Oh, he just bit my toe. I got this one at the uh, feed mill, but you can buy these on Amazon. And I'll have to go back to the store, the plumbing store, because I screwed that nipple into another fitting. I forget what they called it, but I will make a video and let you know. And that made it a lot more secure because last year when I had one, they just started to wiggle the pig nipple. And it made a leak right around the edge of the edge of the plastic. So I got a fitting that went on the inside, and then it had a nut on it that you tightened. And then I screwed a pig nipple into there. So, in all honesty, ten minutes I made that. So that's what I have. That water will last at least a week. The food, once I fill it, I don't know how long it will last with the babies, but last a while. Um, and when they're adults, it'll last a couple days. So, pigs are doing good. Everything went well while I, went, while I was away. So.